real education. Tinku and Rinki were twin siblings. They both studied in the same class, in the same school. Both were excellent in studies, but often Tinku scored better than his sister. Dad laid down a condition when both of them insisted on having a bicycle. My budget allows me to purchase only one bicycle. So whoever will score better between you two will get the bicycle. After hearing father's words, both the kids started studying. But Tinku was very smart. He knew how to get good marks. He used to study only that portion which was supposed to come in the exams. Whereas Rinki was fond of studies. She used to study the entire textbook. Keep in mind, I will get the bicycle. Whatever you are studying is useless. This won't come in exams. How do you know? Hey, see this. Tuition sir has given me question papers of last three years. Every time questions are repeated from these only. Okay, but I don't want to take any shortcut. Whatever will be the question, it will be asked from books. Let me study. Don't disturb, please. Both the kids started studying in their own style. Finally, exams were over. Yay! Exams are over! We will have fun! After a few days, results were declared. And once again, same thing happened. Tinku was declared topper and Rinki stood second. Yay! Now I will get the bicycle! Hooray! Bicycle was gifted to Tinku. He was extremely happy. Take this. But keep in mind that this bicycle belongs to both of you. Let Rinki also ride this. But Tinku did not listen to anyone. He took his bicycle and ran away. That same evening, to celebrate results of both the kids, entire family went out for dinner. After finishing their dinner, when the family stepped out of the restaurant, suddenly some people approached them with mic and camera. We are doing promotion of G1 Bicycle. We have a small quiz for the kids. If you answer all the questions correctly, then you will be gifted top model of G1 Bicycle along with this new bag and a bottle too. Both the kids participated in the quiz. Questions in the quiz were from their books only, but totally different from examination paper. Rinki had studied the book thoroughly. Hence, she solved all the questions of the quiz very quickly. Please have this, uncle. I have solved all the questions. That's impressive. You did it very fast. Very good. Tinku tried very hard, but he did not know the answers and at last, he also gave the quiz paper. After looking at both the papers, organizers announced the winner. And in this quiz, Winner with 100% correct answer is Rinki. Rinki was gifted cycle as prize along with other gifts. Whereas Tinku learned a lesson. Tinku now understood that we should not study for numbers only but for knowledge too. Utilization of time. The one who utilizes time properly enjoys its wonderful benefits. This happened with Sonu and Vani when their exams were near. Hey, you are still studying? Let's have some food. Just little bit of project work is left. Teacher will scold me if I didn't submit it. And exams are also starting from next week. Vani was very hard working girl who utilized her time appropriately. Whereas her brother Sonu was very careless and naughty who used to leave every work for the next day. Have you completed your project? Why so soon? We have to submit it in 6th period. Two periods are still left. I will finish it quickly. Now come fast. I am feeling hungry. We have to play also. Hey listen Sonu. Teacher will scold you if you don't submit it. Sonu and Vani's parents always used to teach Sonu by giving example of Vani. 
Listen, my son, you are no longer a kid anymore. Along with games, you should focus on your studies too. Yes, mom, from tomorrow definitely. Sonu, learn from your sister how to utilize time. See, she studies on time, plays on time too. She never leaves today's work on tomorrow. You'll see. I will do the same from tomorrow. Can I play now, please? Sonu always used to ignore advice of his parents. And finally, exam time came near. Now only two days were left in Sonu and Vani's examination. Kids, your exams will start from next Monday. Am I right? Study with all your heart and do very well in your exams. Sonu, I am very worried about you, my son. You always leave. Today's work on tomorrow. Don't leave studies for next day. Like Vani, study all your chapters on time. Okay? Oh, Dad, till there are two days left for exams. I will quickly study everything. Now I am going to play. If I won't play, I won't understand studies too. Hey, Vani. Have a look. Weather is so lovely. Come, please. Let's play for some time. You can study later too. You'll study everything very quickly. Yes, weather is very lovely. But I have to complete my studies. Tomorrow is our exam. You know, it's really amazing to play in this weather. You keep on studying. I am going to play. After some time, Vani saw that the pleasant weather has turned into a storm and clouds were black everywhere. It seemed rains could happen any time. Looking at this weather, Vani was worried that how will she complete her studies if rains happened because power cuts were usual in this weather. She called Sonu. Sonu, Sonu listen. By looking at weather, it seems rains are about to come. Power cut may be there during night. Stop all your games and come study now. Otherwise, what will you write in your exam tomorrow? Don't worry, Vani. It's just afternoon now. I will study during night and will complete everything quickly. Electricity won't go. Rest, it would be more amazing to study after rains. I have to go now. My batting game. Careless Sonu, as usual, took everything very lightly. He began to feel anxious when rains started suddenly. Sonu was very nervous and now he returned home. Upon returning, he saw that not only his house but whole village was facing power cut. After seeing this, Sonu started to cry loudly. What will I write in exams tomorrow? I haven't studied even a single chapter and now electricity is also gone. I will fail now. <laughs> I told you before, you should study on time. I told you one week before also. You should study on time, but you never understood a word. Now face it. <laughs> Sorry, Papa. What should I do now? Wish I could have completed my studies on time. <laughs> At last, Sonu realized his mistake. But there's an old saying, time and tide waits for none. Crying now is of no help. Hope you understand now. Why everyone used to explain you before? Now stop crying and come with me. I completed my studies on time. Will make you understand and remember everything very easily. Come. Next day, both the kids went happily to appear in exams. One who handles present by utilizing time properly is surely the winner in future.